This is a News 2 breaking news alert. We've had police come through here once before and nothing happened. So and they've been here for, gosh, decade. A lengthy investigation comes to an end today as three people were arrested in a human trafficking sting spanning multiple locations. This breaking news moments ago, Metro Police released the suspect's identity. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Vilgus. Allie Lynch is at the WKRN.com alert desk with this brand new information. Allie. Yeah, Haley, Bob, moments ago, Metro Police just releasing this information. They have now identified three of the people arrested in that human trafficking sting. They include 50-year-old Charles McLover Jr., his girlfriend, 41-year-old Karen Bailey, and 60-year-old Charles Sumner. Police say all three lived at a home on Blue Willow Court in Antioch. Police say McLover ran a recording studio on Fessler's Lane. The arrests were all made at the home today, where Metro Police tell us victims were present. And a tip from a victim's advocacy group led detectives to begin looking for the suspects. Haley. Thank you, Allie. Now Valencia Wicker is joining us live tonight from Fessler's Lane, that location that Allie mentioned. Valencia police say the building behind you was allegedly a key part of this human trafficking operation. Yeah, that's exactly right. In fact, if you take a closer look, you can tell that the building behind me is actually a recording studio. We now know that studio was being operated by one of the key suspects in this case. This morning, this very building was surrounded by SWAT and investigators, but we're told no one was here. Instead, investigators say they found the suspects in question at a home across town in Antioch. Dark and early Thursday morning, Metro investigators and SWAT teams entered this home on Blue Willow Court in Antioch. Not surprised, honestly. Metro police say it was all part of a human trafficking sting. Multiple people were found inside, most of them women. After months of investigation, detectives believe women were being trafficked for the purpose of prostitution. This woman lives two doors down, but didn't want to show her face. We'd heard years ago that they had been doing something like that, um, getting women and taking them and getting them makeup and stuff and getting them all dressed up and, you know, making them feel great and then saying, okay, now you got to go to work for it. Neighbors tell News 2 they are relieved the suspects are now behind bars, hoping their street will finally be a bit safer. Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've... I, my, my poor daughter, she was raised so sheltered. Literally, she can't, you know, really have a lot of conversation with strangers and stuff because of knowing about what's going on around her and that she was never allowed to walk to school or take the bus or anything. Now, investigators tell us six women were found inside of that home, but at this point, we do not yet know exactly how they were involved in this case. In South Nashville, Valencia Wicker, News 2.